Hello friends. Once again, this is RJ. And I'm back for another episode of do-it-yourself car improvement. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to install a tire pressure monitoring system on my vehicle. So let's go. So what I have here is a carried tire pressure monitoring system, T601XWI. It features real-time tire pressure monitoring, tire temperature monitoring, a leakage alarm, dual charging supporting solar and USB interface. It is also equipped with motion sensor for automatic display on and off. It has a wireless transmission design display panel in a solid three-dimensional shape and can be placed anywhere on the dashboard. It has four external sensors to replace the tire cap of position specific. The sensors are equipped with Bluetooth for data transmission, a micro USB charging connector for an alternate charging of the display panel is also provided. To prevent for an accidental or intentional sensor loss, an anti-theft screw nuts are provided with a spanner in it. To turn on the unit's display, long press the minus button for 3 to 6 seconds. It will automatically display the current status of the sensors. Since the sensors are not yet installed, the display shows an alarm of zero bar pressure. With the display panel turned on, let us install the tire sensors and see what happened with the display. So first, remove the tire cap. Then, screw in first the lock nuts clockwise, to be followed by the sensor. You can actually install directly the sensors even without the anti-theft lock screws. Each sensor is provided with a tag to ensure proper pairing. Although it is possible for the sensors to be switched, but you need to manually pair them. After successfully installed, the display will recognize after several seconds the pressure in the turret. Now, with the aid of the spanner, lock the anti-theft screws by screwing it counterclockwise. Use the spanner to tighten the screws to the sensor. Try to screw out the sensor, with the anti-theft lock nuts tightened, it is not possible for the sensors to be removed. Now, do the same with the other sensors. In the next demonstration, we will directly install the sensors without using the lock screws. This is for ease of simulation later because it is a bit tedious to dismantle the sensor with the lock. What is good about Carried brand is that, you can actually purchase a sensor alone when it is already defective unlike with other cheap brands that does not support sensor replacement. Each sensor is operated by a CR1632 button battery. So when sensor's reading is stuck or does not read, just replace the battery. We will place the TPMS display on the left side portion of the dashboard. That is for the driver to have a clearer view of the values of the TPMS. A sticky non-slip pad is provided for the unit. That is to hold in place the display unit.
Now, we'll try to simulate the functionality of the alarm. We'll remove the front left sensor, and see if the display reads 0 PSI. It should recognize in a few seconds after the dismantling of sensor. And yes. It immediately refreshes displaying 0 PSI with an audible alarm. You can actually set the minimum and the maximum pressure to when the alarm will be triggered. Now, we'll reinstall the sensor back and see if it reads again the tire pressure. And that's it. We already have successfully installed our tire pressure monitoring system. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you find the video helpful. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.